All right, so after waiting for two months, some big stuff has arrived. I'm excited to show you. This is just part of my Kraken turbo kit. So, like I said, I ordered this stuff almost two months ago. It's been like seven weeks that I was waiting in it. It left Bulgaria on a Wednesday and it showed up to my house on a Monday. Insane. So what we got here is just, like I said, Kraken manifold. This is obviously for the 1.6. And then I went with the three inch downpipe option. So, big old girthy boy. This thing is freaking huge. And to go along with that, uh, I bought this separately, but this is a Garrett 2560R. It is the Inconel wheel in here. Um, it's not the steel wheel, so it's kind of cool. Um, I also went with the Kraken intercooler kit. I've already got some of it mounted up. Okay, so these clips are kind of just going to bounce all over the place. I um, only had time to work on the car after work, and even then only had a couple of hours every day. Um, but I had to mock everything up in this clip. Um, just to sort of get, get an idea of where the charge pipes need to be run, uh, how one of the lines to be run, and just getting an overall feel for the kit uh, before I fully committed to installing it. So that's what this clip is. Okay, so it's the next day. Um, I got a bunch of stuff mounted up. I went ahead and mounted the wastegate with the Flying Miata wastegate bracket. You can see it's all mounted up nicely. I've got my vacuum line on um, I went ahead and just mounted up my intake that I made real quick just sort of messing around and so today's video was gonna be on making an intercooler mount um, so I went and bought some metal from Lowe's but I messaged Kraken and it turns out he had already designed it to freaking fit so when I got the intercooler I was super confused because it came with a bolt and then a nut which was way too big for the bolt the nut literally just slides over top of the over top of the bolt and he said use it as a spacer so there's a good idea of where it goes and it just mounts up to those inner holes where your your baby teeth go your uh your toe hooks so and these are slotted so you can move it side to side that took me literally like three minutes to mount so you can see this side is already done or at least mocked up pretty well the piping runs up through there Tons of clearance. I already have the blow off valve mounted as well. Vacuum line. So I guess now we're just going to go ahead and mock this side up just to sort of make sure we have the tube facing the right way. And there we go. The other side is mocked up. So you can see I don't have power steering um, or AC. So the short, the run here is much shorter. So you can see it's a 90 degree off the turbo. It just 45s out here. We have clearance underneath the sway bar we have clearance between the lower rad hose and then just 90s in the intercooler so it's really not all that complicated boom the IAT sensor goes in that bong right there and I mean it's pretty simple intercooler piping um, if you have power steering the turbo is actually clocked the other way and it snakes over and then goes down but then the runs look almost the same but and then I'm gonna take all this off and I'm gonna paint it. And so I'm gonna paint it. I was gonna have it powder coated, but my powder coating guy is like three weeks booked out. And like I said, I've been waiting almost two months. I'm not about to wait another three weeks. I'm super impatient. So we got some flame proof, this is cast iron color. It'll work. I actually have some primer as well. So I'm gonna do primer and then paint. Okay, so it is the next day. Ignore the bag of soil and stuff. Finished painting it last night, so it's three coats of primer and then three coats of that cast iron. It's looking super nice. Like, I'm pretty impressed with how it came out. And this not only protects it from rusting, but hopefully this will keep the engine bay tips down a little bit. Um, but I also did it because these two Kraken pieces were slightly different color than the turbine housing. And that just annoyed me. So I just have them out in the sun trying to trying to bake it on because I might be able to throw this on tonight we'll see um, yeah just wanted to kind of show it off because it looks eeh, it looks awesome look at that that'll be it for this video stay tuned obviously got a lot more planned uh, thanks for watching I'll catch you in the next one peace